Turns out that the most potent form of gratitude practice is not a gratitude practice where you give gratitude or express gratitude, but rather where you receive gratitude, where you receive thanks. And this, to me, was very surprising. There are a number of studies about this now. Uh, one in particular that I think is interesting is called prefrontal activation while listening to a letter of gratitude read aloud by a coworker face-to-face, -face, a near study, N-I-R-S. I'll explain what all this means. You now know what the prefrontal activation part is. This is activation of the prefrontal cortex. The NIRS, N-I-R-S study, that's just a technical term. So in this particular experiment, what they did is they had co-workers write a letter of gratitude, of thanks to another co-worker, unbeknownst to the other co-worker, and then they sat down together and then they imaged brain activity as this letter was being read and as the letter was being heard, received. And it showed very robust effects on these prefrontal networks.